Hello students, welcome to Swapna Physics classes. From this class, I am going to start explanation for short answer question and answers for TS Intermediate Second Year IPE Examination. And the question is, define critical angle, explain total internal reflection using a knee diagram. With the help of a diagram, I am going to explain what is critical angle and what is total internal reflection. If a light ray travels from the denser medium to the rarer medium, denser medium, I am considering water. The denser medium is water and the rarer medium. The rarer medium is the air. Okay. When a light ray travels from this denser medium to the rarer medium, this is the normal and this is the interface. M, N is the interface between this denser medium and the rarer medium and this is the normal whenever a light ray travels from this denser medium to a rarer medium what happens the angle of incident the angle of incident will be less than the angle of refraction okay what is uh, angle of incidence and what is angle of refraction the angle made by the incident ray with the normal to the interface with the normal to the interface is known as angle of incidence and the the angle made by the refractor ray with the normal of the interface is known as the angle of refraction okay here whenever a light ray travels from the denser medium to the rarer medium this light ray which is refracted will bend away from the normal will bend away from the normal and the angle of refraction will be greater than the angle of incidence. Angle of refraction will be greater than the angle of incidence. Okay. I am taking this as N. Okay. And the incident ray is A. Refracted ray is B. And the total ray, the total light ray, which is incidenting this interface, will not be refracted. The partial light, partially the light will also be reflected okay this is a partially reflected light ray now if if you increase the angle of incidence if you keep on increasing the angle of incidence what happens angle of refraction also increases angle of refraction also increases angle of refraction also increases okay this is the incident angle this is the refracted angle now what i'm doing i'm just keep on increasing increasing the angle of incidence and keep on increasing the angle of incidence what happens at some particular angle of incidence at some particular angle of incidence the refractor ray the refractor ray grazes the interface between the medium the refractor ray grazes the interface between the two mediums and it will be equal to 90 degrees and it will be equal to 90 degrees okay as the angle of incidence increases the angle of refraction also increases and it's a particular angle of incidence the angle of refraction will be equal to 90 degrees and this corresponding incident angle is known as critical angle. The corresponding incident angle for which the refraction angle is 90 degrees is known as critical angle. What is critical angle? The angle of incident corresponding to an angle of refraction 90 degrees. Okay. The critical angle is the angle of refraction for the angle of refraction which is equal to 90 degrees. The corresponding incident angle is known as critical angle. The corresponding incident angle is known as critical angle. Okay. And uh, I am taking this as B prime. Okay. B. B prime. And here also we will have a reflector ray. This is also a reflector ray. Partially reflector ray. Okay. This is A. This is O1. This is B. This is A. O2 some C this is reflector ray C prime 
this is O3 and uh, refractor ray is D, reflector ray is C prime. Okay, and still if you keep on increasing the incident angle, what happens beyond this critical angle, beyond this critical angle, there is no refraction takes place. Only reflection takes place. Only refraction, reflection is possible. Beyond the critical angle, only reflection is possible. Only reflection is possible. Only reflection is possible. No, there is no refraction. Okay. This, this reflector ray is known as total internal reflection. Beyond the critical angle, what is total internal reflection? Beyond the critical angle, beyond the critical angle only reflection is possible, reflection of light is possible, which is known as total internal reflection, which is known as total internal reflection. And there are two conditions for total internal reflection. What are those uh, conditions? The light ray must travel from the denser medium to the rarer medium and, and the angle of incident must be greater than the critical angle. Whenever the light ray travels from the denser medium to the rarer medium and the angle of incident is greater than the critical angle, then total internal reflection takes place. There is no refraction, only reflection is possible. Okay, and uh, the example is optical fibers. In optical fibers, we are using this total internal reflection for the transmission of signals. For the transmission of signals, we are using this uh, phenomena, total internal reflection in optical fibers. And uh, one more application is marriages. I'm going to explain about these marriages in our next class. Okay. And whoever didn't subscribe to my channel, please click on the subscribe button also. And also click on the like button. And please share with maximum number of people. Okay. Bye.